Welcome everyone to more open source live bug fixing and Linux updates and welcome all the new viewers who came over the last 48 hours from Level 1 Tech there. So recurring theme, um, spending here weekends and not only with RISC-V RDNA 2 enablement but also fixing Linux kernel or I thought actually ASUS um, X2 Epic bugs, um, yeah, ASUS, others, uh, viewer told me happens with Gigabyte as well. So what is the issue? The issue was that for over a year, uh, since I have here Zen 2 and Zen 3, 1350X, 1550X, I wondered that I didn't have here this P-States. Um, of course it was performance boosting and stuff, but so it was mostly working and the pro so it wasn't that obvious what is the issue because it was still boosting um, frequency scaling by the hardware itself um, between the base clock uh, 3.4 gigahertz and um, boost and the main reason i was after was better single core boost and this is why i was hoping when most cores um, clock down to 2.2 gigahertz that single core boost could be higher and of course idle power savings and i always thought like it doesn't work on like desktop then I of course don't have 100 motherboards here um, just a small selection and only every other quarter I was looking into this again because I saw other news articles talking about p-states and stuff and new AMD p-state drive and stuff and I was wondering what the freaking heck are they talking about doesn't even freaking work for me and so yesterday I made this video that I finally so yesterday I, I so I burned basically long story short I burned so much freaking time with that um, what was it the other day I was what was it like nearly yeah nearly two hours of comparing BIOS options because um, I then thought some of the under vaulting um, memory overclocking what whatsoever options would disable that and I figured only with this two hours of trial and error and uh, comparing rebooting and stuff uh, as you know rebooting 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 after a while an hour or two are gone and so that was the X2 APIC option, as I outlined yesterday, the more further extended higher performance, more CPU cores, uh, better virtualization and stuff. That, and it didn't make sense, right? That that BIOS option disabled the P state. So the difference is that with the P states disabled or not working in Linux, you don't have, uh, here's this P states obviously, so you always have a base clock of three at, with this CPU, 3.4 gigahertz. And, um, I spent like all the free time of my weekend between family and stuff. Um, so, so yeah, my, my wife already not the most happy this weekend because, hey honey, I have there this freaking hardware bug that I need to um, solve um, to sleep again. Um, so yeah, open source destroying family relations actually. Anyway, maybe, maybe I should stop this freaking open source um, addiction here. But anyway. Um, how did I tackle this? So I solved it. So long story short, I freaking found this bug and it looks to me mostly, um, if not, not entirely a Linux kernel bug. How did I do this? So I dumped and discompiled, decompiled the ACPI tables here, a diffed Z so that is with this feature off and on, um, dmask, uh, one thing, but also, oh, this is only dmask, of course, I meant that. So all the CPI, uh, ACPI tables, maybe I make a dedicated video about all the nitty gritty uh, ACPI details. Um, it didn't look so, of course, the uh, ACPI tables replace X APIC with X2 APIC, um, but otherwise it doesn't really change much. So from the ACPI tables, I figured the BIOS is not intentionally um, disabling this. Also uh, a viewer mentioned he has seen something similar and uh, he thinks that um, maybe the BIOS is like some, or there, there is some rumors or forum posts that some BIOS um, might lack some frequency tables for the li uh, Linux C CPU frequency driver to work, or the tables are corrupt. I couldn't confirm that, which is also thanks to that comment, I looked into that and I didn't find any missing frequency tables or corruption. So I debugged um, through the whole um, 
Linux uh, driver stuff took me. So this, I even was yeah starting yesterday uh, afternoon and then the night even 22 to um, midnight I was sitting in the office and debugging through all of the stuff um, here in driver ACPI. The problem is that lack of error messages, recurring theme here. If something is missing, some vital information in your software, print a freaking error message. If there would have been an error message, I would have probably fixed this already two years ago. Or probably if there would have been an error message, maybe someone at ASUS or Gigabyte or AMD would have fixed this two years ago. I'm not even sure how many people were aware of missing single core boost or idle power optimizations. And the after looking into this also, there's a more live video on the more live channel there uh, streamed some hour ago. Uh, long story short, so th the driver is split in multiple pieces um, for the CPU frequency driver to work. So the CPU frequency ACPI um, or ACPI CPU frequency. And so that driver needs uh, what was it? Register performance. So that driver needs um, the frequency data from uh, the ACPI processor driver. Um, processor driver, this term is a little bit near. Processor, so here are three more files. Uh, one is ACPI processor, core driver and perflip. And what I found and like took like in total, yeah, probably I spent like six. So in total, the Zool stuff took eight hours, right? Just and it's it's the fix for this or workaround probably fix um, is is one line, right? It is one freaking use of variable in one line, and this that people always think ah this trivial fix, right? In two years, nobody fixed that, and it took me eight freaking hours of my whole basically free time of this weekend. Um, just to put this, I just want to shout this out so that more developers and normal users get an understanding how long this low level work always takes. Because also in my com company here, I make some code. Some people, uh, people often ask, um, Where do I work? I work in my own company, um, do embedded Linux stuff and product and stuff. And most people have no connection of how long this low level stuff I said in the more live channel today, it's like a black hole, right? All this low level code operating system, bootloader firmware, it's like a black hole, right? It's eating and consuming your time like um, nothing else. And I found uh, with all the uh, debugging here, DMSs and stuff, um, because it takes so long, because you need, you need to find where is something happening and then you need to instrument your kernel, kernel debugger, reboot, reboot again. Um, to eventually come to where it is. And I realized of relatively quickly that this ACPI processor is not binding, like not matching to the CPUs. I mean, funny, right? Your, your system, your operating system works without a CPU driver. Although the CPU driver, it sounds, the name is nah, but I mean, of course the CPU still work, right? It's just additional ACPI management stuff in the driver. So um, the init would run here, it would register the driver here, driver register, but I found between the working but only X APIC and the not working CPU frequency scaling X2 APIC that this registering the ACPI driver, this should already match all the ACPI devices on the processor slash ACPI internal Linux buses of devices. And so that wouldn't work. This is my instrumentation of just printing some stuff of seeing where we are, where we get what kind of errors. And this took like alone three hours just of edit, compile, tracing, syncing, guru meditation. Where are we? Where is something going wrong? And if this would have freaking print a error message at the more vital places, I would have saved two years and eight hours of this. Um, so yeah, pro tip, proper error messages, right? So what is going wrong with all this? So I, I debugged the matching, uh, of course, looking into how does the ACPI matching works, what is happening here so that matches here uh, with a device driver, ACPI processor driver, name and bus, so CPU, subsystem, processor bus. 
Um, matching here, CPI matching table, matching table this here, so ACPI processor object and device HIDs. And it turns out, at first I thought this matching doesn't work and it's ACPI based, not indicated as presence and online and guru meditation, reboot, rinse, repeat, another hour later. Turns out after all of this, um, the actual issue is that you also only see this with my additional instrumentation and debug enablement. And this is exactly the kind of thing I think I wish they would have printed a proper error message earlier. Valog boot old log. So only some hour ago, finally I got some clue after all debugging all the matching of drivers and buses and stuff and, and devices there. And finally I came with additional debugging, debugging enablement to the real issue is this one, ACPI LN, Linux, Linux or Linux CPU failed to get CPU physical ID. Oh, ah, now we're getting there. So this is all debug stuff from here that I added there. And all the stuff looks actually even comparing his stuff looks um, okay, right? Here's ACPI, bus mastering, application control, present, and then mapping the X2 Epic ID. So there is a bug in map, although in retrospect, after eight hours, you of course faster, uh, slow, um, after eight hours, you of course um, smarter and have more knowledge and um, theoretically maybe could have found this earlier. Um, however, you also not, don't think that that function has a bug. Uh, which one was it? It was either in processor or I think this was in processor core um, x 2 a pick here of course additional debug info stuff and so here previously was um, I think I do I maybe I think I unpacked that here diff diff u uh, diff u so previously there was an extra um, extra line that I'm not sure if it ever is correct. I should have driver ICPI processor core. One second later. Um, also, I think I have to again some Unicode garbage. Yeah. Should really configure my. Uh, always when you're in a hurry, life on YouTube. I should really put some better Unicode locale into my Bash RC. And I, by the way, hate non breaking Unicode spaces. Uh, CPI, all right, it's some driver. Missing, no. So yeah, uh, one line uh, just ev evaluating their driver, CPI, drivers, drivers, of course drivers. So um, the extra stuff here is uh, device declaration. So it's checking here the ACPI state, maybe I open the original file here in Linux 5. 14. So as, as usual, one line. So this is original code. And so the fix for that is not checking the device declaration thing here. And as far as I've seen, so this is called in mapping. So what this is doing, it's mapping the um, X2 Apex to the processors um, in case it's not linearly mapped. Oh, who knows whatsoever. The type comes here from the uh, type from the ACPI, uh, oh no, this comes from the map, um, from here it comes. So this is basically the, um, device declaration, oh, this is this hard coded to one declaration. So yeah, um, the thing is, this is not used in the regular APIC ID. Here they only have um, ACPI subtable header entry APIC ID, and here they have 
um, entry device declaration. Um, so device declaration, oh wait a second, this is also, yeah, anyway, not sure why they had that there um, just for X2 Epic, but um, yeah, so that was actually zero, zero. Where is this actually? Yeah, the usual details. Anyway, uh, with this removed, um, I will, yeah, still as per usual, not yet 100% done. Need to do some research. Why has the Linux kernel that declaration thing there? Um, but that is working now, meaning I have um, freaking P states. Um, right, as you see, even with YouTube live streaming here, OBS uh, running, of course, hardware encoding and stuff, mostly uh, 2.2 gigahertz, except, uh, yeah, just <laughs> very YouTube live streaming, OBS Linux, of course, very light load for an 1550X. And this is exactly what I wanted uh, with uh, including hopefully better single core boosting, but also coming full circle. Um, with the other, like RISC-V, um, spent the other, you know, last month, <laughs> I spent the weekend um, debugging AMD, uh, AMD GPU for non-x86. So basically, latest RDNA 2 display stuff only works on x86 and PowerPC um, because that display control stuff uses hardware, um, uses floating point for the uh, mode setting stuff, uh, computing frequencies and stuff. And this is, you can't usually use a floating point in the kernel, in the Linux kernel uh, for performance reasons. And only x86 had this enable floating point, um, like enable in the kernel floating point and disable again. And they added this Raptor engineering, added this for PowerPC, uh, for the Raptor engineering power workstation. And also this, right, you plug the code, uh, you, you plug the RDNA card previous video into the RISC-V board and you have no display output. And it's also not travel, right? Just with this case, you start debugging, you start analyzing. Um, of course, in that case, I've seen relatively fast that this is explicit, explicitly in the KCONF. You see that if you open RDNA2 AMD GPU KCONF in the Linux kernel, um, actually we could do that uh, live here because we like to do stuff live that should be driver um, the character dr, ah oh no, this is video, video dr more something of that sort, what was it? Ah, GPU, yeah, whatever, GPU dr AMD, and either poor PC was it, maybe this, or what do they use here? Do they use just PP, uh, PPC K conf either here or okay? There is no K conf then it's in this one and somewhere here or maybe in or do they have this display stuff or maybe in display? Oh come on! As per usual from YouTube. Uh, say, okay, this display, and you see, see here, that is the issue, but you can't, um, it's like, I said in the original video, I actually didn't, didn't want to disclose that um, that quickly because I thought it took me even there the whole weekend, uh, the whole free time I had during that weekend a month ago. And I said in the video, if you are a developer on this, it should be obvious to you, uh, this was actually a message, a hidden message to the AMD G, uh, developers in case. Um, why, the reason I wasn't more specific, I, I said it so to make it clear that everyone who looks into this debugs into this knows that I have, I mean, I had it working, right? So, but the, you can't just put risk five, say uh, you need to implement enable floating point, disable floating point for um, that. And you need to compile, you need to change the kernel make file. I've done all that proof of concept. The reason I've not published this is it's not ready. And my enable disable floating point code for risk five is not um, fully done. So I said this, I, it needs at least a day or two of properly doing enable disable floating point for risk five for that. This is the difference between, hey, it's a proof of concept. Heck, I have this working previous video, um, but I actually tried to find a sponsor at AMD or Hi5 
Um, high five, nobody responded. I said this a couple of times. AMD, also nobody responded except Bridgman on LinkedIn, but and only that or after like two weeks or something. Um, and only then, yeah, I'm not working with AMD, uh, with, with GPU stuff. I'm now in uh, supercomputing, whatever stuff. And yeah, they, I, I, he said like, uh, it's not easy. We don't have really a program for that. Um, he can look into that and I've never. So this was, was the only message from all the companies and have not heard since back since then. And that is really sad, right? Uh, independent people all around the world, um, like you and me and do all the stuff right in the end it's a one-liner and people think how oh, this is like yeah for two years nobody has fixed that has not fallen from the sky and that makes me really sad right um why i am a little bit just grief the linux foundation spreads their millions to a handful of people instead of having a bug bounty program and recurring theme i think open source needs way better funding it can't be that people like myself, Debian, Gen2, Arch, all those individuals fix all the stuff, right? The big companies don't care. Um, what's not mission critical isn't fixed. This is not fixed for two years. Um, and even if you are a high profile open source developer, you engage companies, they don't even mostly not answer. Um, even if it's High Five, Risk Five, the latest and greatest um, upcoming um, stuff you would be really think it's I know I'm not even asking for much right I always said like some some two thousand three thousand four thousand euro of um, what um, normal senior computer science engineer time is worth and even that I'm not even asking for horrendous like if you find security stuff you easily get 10,000 I didn't even ask for 10,000 but hey some some tips of constant open source work some 2,000 uh, euro dollar here or there um, and recurring theme in my opinion 20 years I have an extremely hard time to make any money with open source um, in the meantime um, was maybe a little bit easier 10 years ago in the meantime all the big companies IBM Google Red Hat they either want employees or um, other embedded, small embedded projects, they outsource this stuff to cheapest countries, uh, India, Russia, China. Um, this is really crazy. And which, and if you look on our website, we have end user product, pro, uh, products that we make most of our money with. And with open source, not financially viable, um, spending all my free time on weekends hunting this box nobody else wants to hunt or implement and at the end of the day people on Foronix tell you you are doing open source wrong where did I had this breaking uh, something something somewhere uh, I thought I are ah, here uh, people um, yeah this is also uh, AMD GPU developer um, uh, t tells me here where did I ask um, somewhere uh, maybe the previously like yeah here xorg ate developer not sure who you contacted but not aware of any of your work also yeah not it was only a Linus tech tips and um, other news sites but yeah, um, I didn't ask on the open source mailing list because I didn't find this particularly polite it's not like you in my opinion, you don't ask on open source mailing lists, hey, I have here this patch, does someone wants to pay for this? I specifically contacted um, business people with LinkedIn and stuff. Um, like, yeah, didn't consider polite to ask on mailing lists for funding. Uh, LinkedIn contact and stuff, only Bridgman responded, sci fi Nodi reacted. Um, and then the funny thing is, um, first, XORG ATI driver developers like are not aware of it. Where did you ask? It's like, hey, I asked there and there, didn't get that. I adopt this an easy path to funding this sort of work from corporate side. Unfortunately, AMD would probably uh, prefer that you purchase an AMD GPU. It's like, yeah, I'm, I have, I have purchased multiple. Where's my CPU? No, yeah, purchase CPU. Um, it's like three Ryzen. Um, I also. I, I, the best response would have been actually I, I purchased a freaking uh, I purchased a freaking um, RDNA 2 GPU right with, with all the all the CPUs 1350x 1950x and um, 
the AMD um, 6700 XT, all with overpriced market value prices, right? Um, not, not even yeah, early for this YouTube content, um, overpriced stuff. And yeah, so isn't it a bit ironic? I mean, first of plenty of AMD CPU stuff, and obviously, and isn't it a bit ironic? First, you say not aware of this work and where if you ask but then it's like yeah adopt, there's an easy pass and yeah there, there must be the, this needs to change um, in my opinion um, all the big mega corporations of course everyone from between Amazon and Facebook and Tesla is reusing open source stuff they build their empires on cheap or free labor of ha, nice stuff you got there but yeah I'm not going to pay there in my opinion and this is also if it would not be for the YouTube channel that I built up here for three years. In the meantime, I would actually stop doing open source stuff, right? I only regained all this activity the last years um, from what I've done 20 years with even my running my Linux distribution, right? I only re-accelerated um, this open source work mm -hmm. here with Patreon and GitHub sponsorship and building this YouTube channel. If I would not have building this YouTube channel the last years, I would have in the meantime stopped doing open source work, right? So high profile 20 year veterans so thick and tired of the financing and, and relationships in open source that I would actually rather, uh, I don't know, make open a, uh, my usual, re, uh, usual running gag is open a beach coffee. But yeah, and then random people tell you here doing open source wrong, right? Um, not even sure what their contribution uh, is. Uh, if any, but um, then people telling me um, maybe on the previous, also maybe I should stop uh, participating in, um, it's not working like this here, random people, I don't know, uh, this is a senior member of who knows who he is, but working like this open source is 90% of time working differently after finishing your work and merging all patches, I believe you can expect to talk about work in AMD um, like I'm not wanting to work at AMD, right? Um, this is so ridiculous. Um, if I would want to work in a company, I would work at Siemens or Bosch or Porsche, Volkswagen, um, Mercedes, right? I wanted to, we wanted to make like 20 years ago, we with, and this is what all of those forum post people of this, what I would probably new age open source who don't really understand open source, right? 20 freaking years, 1998, I was one of those many where open source was relatively newish and we wanted to create a better IT industry um, was at least my understanding and recollection of this. And my goal with open source is not like to work in some company. I have my own company and um, I, I want to have my own freedom. But basically, if I was my experience, if I do everything else, I earn magnitudes more than with open source um, and that is a total industry fail and um, a sad state of open source recurring theme here, um, that I just wanted to shout out. So yeah, this is what I spent my weekend, weekend with fixing. Um, after all, I would actually say not necessarily an Asus bug, um, probably more um, a Linux kernel bug. I would probably, I should probably get blame and see when it was added. Um, but it works for me uh, so far. Um, the usual thing of uh, one one line, even even only one variable and, and one line um, broke this. Um, fun ride as usual. Learned a lot again. <laughs> um, not sure what it worth it. If you want, uh, unlike all those big corporations, want to sponsor my work right in the meantime, um, Patreon. GitHub sponsorship, YouTube membership, share, like, and subscribe. Um, every donation, welcome for all, for all this too much work. My wife's, as my wife calls it, um, time uh, wasting hobby. Also, anyway, um, let's see what have you. Um, the Graver uh, ACPL didn't do anything here. However, enabling X to have a completely disabled booting in Windows 10. It's locking in PST 0. There. Um, yeah, fix that. Um, the patch will be in T2. I will clean this again. It's just one. Um, if you want to try this, just remove um, 
but don't steal my precious one line patch right um, drivers ACPI in ACPI actually we could um, actually do I we have this diff right I diff that here um, diff this is not operant after um, so it's just removing uh, this declaration there uh, let's quickly maybe peel that out of there in my opinion this should also change um, PR debug also increasingly t2 becomes a Linux distribution where everything works amazingly um, and uh, PR debug let's just remove that for hopefully a cleaner patch so just remove this device declaration thing there and um, here is as uh, this is not there but in processor driver in my opinion this failed so this should ah uh, this is one but I uh, this is not um, physical fail to start no physical where would that be Failed. Uh, was it physical? Or maybe this dash hand. Uh, here, F A C P I. Was I not in? Oh, this is processor, not driver. This is why failed physical. Um, so yeah, this should not, in my opinion, this should not be um, a debug. This should be um, one. Let's um, do they have other one and how does that one? No, they don't have other there, but I think an ACPI driver. Uh, driver? What do I even? So, not driver. A processor driver. What did, what did I do before? A underscore? What, what have I done there? A processor. Other one is ACPI. Processor the other. It's not processor. Yeah. Anyway. This is why processor driver. So you have one. What is this? One red. Ah, this is one on. Apparently. Mm, will online hot plug CPU needs hot plug CPI okay this is one on something what did we what what was it even was it oh this was dev error um, actually you know what let's make this dev error this should probably not sure what happens then. I would hope that it should just print that right. And so yeah, anyway, uh, totally small. Um, and welcome, Roland. So yeah, uh, Roland, uh, thanks for the comment. And um, I wanted to tell you specifically, if you ever notice crazy stuff like that again, let me know. <laughs> I like to know because uh, not only spreading awareness here on this growing channel, but also um, maybe it saves me um, a year or two and performance and idle so yeah with this patch and um, also this wastes enormous energy right on hashtag fridays for future um, every linux system with that probably wastes unnecessary energy not entering lower idle states so uh, let's diff that um, and um, Accumulates it there and processor the other was was it ACPI? What did we ACPI? Yeah, what did we just ACPI processor driver ACPI processor? So yeah, thanks for that, uh, Roland. Um, without your comment, I would probably not <laughs> wasted my weekend looking into that. I would probably not have done that because I I thought it's too much a BIOS bug. Um, for um, me to look into. Um, for this to send upstream, I need to do some more research uh, regarding this declaration thing there. 
um, because I certainly need to ex have better confidence to explain, explain Linux kernel people there around Linux towards. Um, why we do that? Um, here is device declaration thing uh, with that we can move this to package base Linux. Um, what would that be? Probably at least, yeah, I don't have an. Actually, maybe I'm our dual. I should check which Nehalem does our aging Mac Pro has x2 APIC and but that doesn't have CPU frequency scaling. Plus, um, did I add our hardware entry for the micro? Uh, super micro, probably. Oh, wait a second, what do I have here? Volari. Does it have a Volari? It says XGI. Uh, seriously? Even forgot about that. Um, a pick of. Does it have X2? A pick or not yet? Anyway, so AMD X2 A pick. Um, CPU frequency patch or something. Then I think I. We have a new, also we can SVN at this already. And rebuild that. Also, what have I also best without? Did I re enable tempfs? So, yeah, um, successful in one. Also, why oh, did I not download that? Apparently. Yeah, one, one more ACPI, ASUS, send two or three Linux bug mark performance and energy efficiency marginality fixed. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to click subscribe. I have some more proper AAA review and stuff videos coming up. Um, as said it, as it is, the, the crazy thing is, oh, the graver, that is amazing. Thanks for that. Highly appreciated. Girl is calling. I should go out, get some last sun rays. Um, and um, yeah, highly appreciated. Uh, that is that is the kind of stuff. And the community is also amazing, right? Um, as much as I'm not enjoying the Foronix forum the most, but this YouTube community is amazing, not only for the super chats, but also helpful comments without Roland, Roland's comments. I, comment, I would not even have looked into this this weekend and fixed and yeah, <laughs> burned eight hours um, debugging that. Um, that is super amazing. If you try this out, actually, maybe I should actually commit that already for you to better access this through the T2 um, patches. Let's commit. Did I not? Oh, also, potentially one of the many wrong trees. Uh, what else do we have there? All oh, right, I, I have here more. Uh, so much to clean up. Package Linux uh, X2 APIC. Fixed Linux X2 APIC uh, to work with. I mean, theoretically, this is um, fixed Linux X2 APIC. Mm. To work with AMD. Um, or is it maybe any AM4? I don't know. AM, AM4 slash then uh, P state CPU frac scaling or something of that sort. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy performance wise. It's not as much a performance improvement as I hoped, um, although um, at least not compiling Linux kernel, mm. but this kernel had some debug stuff enabled and um, also of course this doesn't help with all cores utilized this only helps potentially with single core boosting obviously and uh, of course idle uh, energy efficiency yeah i have to i have to run 
Thanks for the super chat. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, GitHub, Patreon, OnlyFans, uh, all the other GoFundMe stuff. And um, again, it's not done. Need to do a little bit more research. Git blame. Um, scrolling what this declaration stuff should do there. And otherwise, hope to see you next time.